What's up, Gear American Nation? Chris here. And in my last video, I was talking about workload limits and minimum braking strength. And I put my email address up there, which is chris at gearamerica.com, and said, if you have any questions, fire off an email. Well, hey, almost immediately, I got a question, and it was about the 45,000 pound braking strength of the soft shackle. This is half inch Spectra line, and according to the Honeywell Spectra specs, that has a 30,000 pound plus braking strength. So we've got two of them. How come it's not 60,000 pounds of braking strength? Well, I'll tell you, your strength is only defined by your weakest link. Now, there really isn't that much of a weak link in this, but if you put it together, you've got a knot going through a loop like this. You could have slippage here. You could have a knot break, things like that. This is going to be the weakest link, which is why it's rated at 45,000 pound capacity, not 60,000 pound capacity. Now, I want to talk to you about proper use, too, because, you know, I said don't use it like this. Don't use it like this. You know, and what I meant is you need to lock the loop on this guy. Always remember, lock the loop. When you're attaching it, you've got a closed loop system. And what I mean by lock the loop is you take your knot, open up your loop, put it through, and where you connect it, you're going to want it locked against that loop. That way, it keeps the loop as tight as possible hanging onto the knot. Otherwise, if you're like this, you can see you have a little bit of open space here that could cause slippage or cause it to come loose or cause a failure in your recovery. So always remember, lock the loop. Let's go outside and I'll show you an example. Okay, so here we've got a toe strap, and we've got our soft shackle, so we put it through the toe strap, and then we put the small end through the receiver, and we'll open up the ring a little bit, and put the knot through. At that point, we can tighten it up by hand, and lock it in against the receiver. As you can see, it tightens up the loop, and it is locked into place. You never want to have it sideways like this. You want it locked in nice and tight. Keep that loop as small as possible and you're good to go. All right, so hopefully that clarifies what we were talking about. The Gear America soft shackle has a 45,000 pound capacity, even though it's two strands of 30,000 pound Spectra rope. Always remember to lock that loop so you get the maximum efficacy from your soft shackle and keep all your recoveries good, strong, and safe. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can email me at chris at gearamerica.com or just leave a comment below. And do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and ring that bell. That way you'll be notified when I have more tabletop tech specs, more important information, cool runs and recoveries, all kinds of neat stuff coming out from Gear America. So that's it for now. For Gear America, this is Chris signing off. And as always, off-road smart and tread lightly.